What's going on, Wastelanders? Drake Wood Invictus, the Wasteland Architect, is here with another episode of Building on a Budget. And as you can see, we are still here in the fine settlement of Sanctuary, and uh, we've got the houses all buttoned up. We've got our market installed. Matter of fact, I even fixed the roofs per a suggestion. And since she suggested it, I went ahead and named the market after her. So uh, welcome to the Baldwin Market. Um, I don't have my vendors in there yet. I have one last big install, I think, and then from there on out, it's going to be decoring and little stuff like that. So there you go, Sarah, Baldwin Market. Hope you enjoy. Told you I'd fix it for you. All right. <laughs> so uh, we have pretty much uh, determined what our size is going to be. As you can see, I filled in back behind the tree. I filled in back over here. Uh, let's see, run over here real quick. Um, I've covered those gaps back there. Uh, tried to get the walls like at the same height as the hedges so it looks like it blended in a little bit more. Uh, got a front gate in and built a small little uh, steel structure. Ada isn't even actually assigned to that guard post. I put it up there and she just wandered up there and she will go back to it. So she is like just, I don't know what her deal is, but she just loves going to that guard post. <laughs> I guess I'll assign it to her. Okay, Codsworth, hey. you can stay right there, there, buddy. Okay, I'm trying to give a tour here, so you just need to stay there. Doesn't Codsworth look totally badass? I had to give him something that he can grab with. Gave him something that he can blow shit up with. But I still wanted to keep the... There you go. Look at me, buddy. Stand tall. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, kind of uh, filled in this wall back here. So we're going to have lots of space that we can do little things with. But uh, as you guys will see, let me get into build mode here. Our bar is about, what, a third full now? And I figure one decent sized building. Um, and then, of course, we need to finish out junk fences and stuff like that. Um, but so we have plenty of places for people to sleep. With all the houses that we're using, all five of them, it gives us ample space uh, for sleeping, okay? Without having, you know, five beds in a room. I'm not jamming people in there. Um, and if we need to build off of one of these and, and put a couple more beds, we'll certainly do that. Uh, and we have a, a marketplace here. So I was thinking, what, what would a settlement need to be successful? Of course, I thought of a bar. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's uh, they they say you know back in, uh, especially back in colonial times, here in the United States, the first two buildings typically constructed in a town were a church and a bar. I know, go figure, right? Saints and sinners, right there. Uh, so. I think that we need to put a bar, and we're going to put it here. We're going to make a nice, cool observation deck up at the top. Uh, we're going to use primarily concrete in this build, uh, but we're going to intermix some uh, some wood walls and uh, some other elements and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We don't actually need to put a floor down, but I at least want to put a floor down so that I can get my walls started correctly. So we're going to jump in here. 902, damn it. I, I spent four days at Diamond City Market to get 902. Really? All right. If you wait a good long while, not a good long while, you know, like it's 48 hours. They replenish after 48 hours. But if you're looking for steel, Percy, who is the um, the robot that runs Myrna's junk store at night, it's the only shop open at night from that I can think of. Um, Percy actually carries like 400 steel, so um, that's pretty awesome. 
And then, of course, you just wait until morning, and then Myrna's carrying 100, and then you wait for 48, and then you go back to Percy, and he's got another 400. Okay, so we kind of want to plan this out. I want to put a window here. And this bar is going to be very kind of open air, and then we're going to put a doorway here. Because the doorway should be... Oh, yeah. That's perfect for the little steps out there. It's not perfectly centered. I understand that. And it could be if I pushed these walls over. But if I did that, then these walls would be sticking way over. And I'm trying to keep it balanced. All right. So let's grab another uh, window unit here. And then let's go into... Uh, Go into our wood tab, go to walls. We're gonna grab one of our cool outer cap walls because we love those. Do I wanna do that there? Hmm. Let's think about this. Yeah, let's do that there. As you can see, it's gonna stick out just a little bit, but the great thing is is that you could bring it and snap it back right into place. These walls snap so well together with the uh the concrete walls. Alright. So now we want to grab our floor, bring it over here, and then let's go back into our concrete, and we just want a solid concrete wall. Come on. Get on the floor. Hope everyone's having a great day, or evening, or whenever you're watching this. I hope that, uh, that everything is going... Uh, well, yeah, see, look, that now we don't have to put any flooring down because you're never going to see that little crack there. All right, so then back here, we want to do a little bit of curvage. And we're going to be using the um, these curved walls of quite a bit in this building, I think. All right, and then over here. I don't think we want to go symmetrical, so let's go back to our wood walls. Throw our little cap friend on there, and then we'll go back to concrete and throw a window unit. Uh, no, not a window unit because we're got to go half wall and then curved wall. No, there. Okay. Do I want to put the window there? No. Let's go. This. And we'll put this over here. That should give us just enough space to come back over here. And we are going to grab the wooden variation of the cap wall. This one here. Go. All right. So this is actually going to be the tallest structure. Let's get rid of. Uh, we'll leave it there for now. We're probably going to need it later. Um, this is going to be the tallest structure in um, the settlement. And now for a little musical interlude.
All right, so we have our, our open area up here. And I am going to come back to concrete. And we're going to create something I think it looks kind of cool. Snap that there. And there. There we go. And, um, yeah, we'll get to what we're going to do with that in just a second. Let's, uh, create a, a, a mesh canopy. So, this wall will go away. I'm just using it as a, um, let's see, do I want to go with that one there? Or would I rather go with that? Hmm. I like that one better. But to do that, we'd have to put this down first. And then place this one. And then get rid of that. And we can get rid of this. There we go. Oh, that shouldn't be hanging over like that. And then I'm short over here. Okay. So, we'll try that again, but we'll offset it this time, right? So then we'll grab our upper floor here, and we will grab a small floor, put it there, and then we'll grab the graded floor. Now it's offset properly. Just want a put that there, and then put one there. All right, that's cool. All right, so now here's what we're gonna do up here. Let's go to decorations, and I want to create some cool seating areas. Now I thought the campfires would be cool, but doesn't really fit well with the whole fact that, well, it's an open flame. It's not protected at all. So then my next thought was fire barrel. And we're going to offset these a little bit toward the hole here just so that it uh, comes pretty much right, that edge coming right to this corner here. So we can maybe put some a few chairs around it and stuff like that. And I wish they gave off more of a glow that at night from the ground you would be able to see these because then it would look <laughs> really cool but uh, in all the testing and stuff that I've looked at uh, I no, it won't work I even tried having it so that the floor was halfway up here and then the barrel was sitting on top of the, the, the floors which is a, a great trick by the way but they just don't they the luminescence of the fire barrel doesn't transmit that far of a distance. So you don't see like it like glowing inside. There's it, it the way it works is just it's different. All right. Um man, I used a bunch of words there that I don't normally use on that, didn't I? <laughs> what you guys know what I'm talking about. There. So all these drunk assholes don't fall off here. They can fall off this side. That's totally cool. But we don't want them falling down the stairs. No, actually, we probably do want to put some railing up on this, don't we? this 
the last side over here. And then let's go take a look at what we've created. I do need to do uh, some railing here. And I guess I'm just going to leave those stairs open for now. Now, ultimately, I'll put like a, a level three bar in here on one of these levels, either down here or up here. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of uh, couches and maybe a jukebox in the corner or something. And um, we'll do it, do it well with lighting and stuff like that. And... Um, but for now, let's go ahead and scrap this floor so it's not... Yeah, we're almost at half now. And I have to decorate the crap out of this place. So, um, yeah, that's it. Alright, that actually looks kind of cool. Kind of different. Kind of like a little castle-y with... Like, they look kind of like little turrets up there or something like that. I don't know. It's a little, something a little funky. It's going to be very functional. There's a large amount of space there. And once we start putting like the bar and stuff like that, then the settlers, the settlers will have a uh, natural place to congregate instead of congregating back over here behind the, uh, the workbench house. And now it's gotten foggy as shit. Uh, but that's going to do it, Wastelanders. Um, yeah, not too terribly uh, busy. And like I said... Um, I'll go through and I'll light this thing up. And once I do that, because it's just a long process for me, when I get it done, maybe I'll do like a, a short little video talking about what I did, why I did it, uh, so that you guys can have a better understanding of that. I mean, we're getting to the point where, I mean, is there much out there that, that we don't all know? I don't know. You know, but I do know um, I... I posted a video about uh, some Far Harbor DLC leaked information and there is going to be a shit ton of new materials, not materials, but new things to build in settlements. If you haven't seen that video, you really need to go back to my page, take a look at it, and um, take a look at that. If now, granted, this is not official Bethesda. This is guys digging around inside the source code for the for the 1.5 uh, survival mode patch that is in beta right now on PC. Well, Bethesda is starting to embed some of their stuff in patches so that when you download the DLC, it doesn't take forever to download it and install it because half that stuff is already there just waiting to be turned on. But these guys are finding new menus and stuff like that with a bunch of incredible stuff in them all kinds of warehouse stuff and barns and just all kinds of really cool stuff you should really go check that video out anyway wastelanders take care of yourselves out there and until next time this is the wasteland architect draco invictus saying see ya